Hey guys, I thought it would be cool to do a day-night cycle. So the first thing for a day-night cycle is, so we're going to make our directional light, our sun, I'm just going to rename that. I'm going to just make the rotation not like straight down, so 90 in the x, and 0 and everything else, and I'm going to put it like 500 up into the sky. And then I'm going to choose the color. I'm going to make it like really orangey glow. I'm going to set the intensity to only half, like five for intensity. Then I'm going to duplicate the sun and call this one moon. And I'm going to put it opposite position, so minus 500y. Put a minus in front of this 90. And I'm going to make the color for this one more like a blue color. So now we got our sun and moon looking at each other. I'm also going to tell the moon that it does not have any shadows, no shadows. Then I'm going to go to the project tab and go create C sharp script. We'll just call it sun. And I'm going to put it on both the moon and the sun. And this is the script that we're going to use to make it rotate around and stare at the center of the, the environment. So open that. So inside of the update I'm going to go transform rotate around vector 3 dot zero, which is just x, y, and z are zero. It's the very center of the, the level or the environment. And then the axis that it rotates around, I'm going to go vector 3 dot right. And then the speed that it rotates is going to be 10 float, so 10f times time dot delta time. So that makes it rotate around the zero point, around its right axis, and that's the speed. And I'm also going to tell it to look at the zero point. So transform dot look at vector three dot zero. Save that. I'm going to select both of them so that I can see the see what they're doing. If I press play, they're rotating around, and they keep facing the same spot. And also, you can see the sun shows up in the sky thing, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to move the main camera to a nicer spot to look at the sun going up and down. So minus 200 in the x. I'm going to put it up 2 in the y and minus 5 in the z. And then I had everything else just stay how it is. Okay, and then we're going to make a script that makes the, the camera look at the sun. So we'll create a C sharp script, call it main cam, drag that onto the camera. Now we want it to look at the sun position, not the zero or whatever, the actual sun position. So we need a public game object. Actually we can do we can do public transform um, target position, I guess we'll call it. Save that. And then when we go out here, it adds that to the script, a transform, and we drag the sun into the transform. So now the sun's transform is linked to the code. And then inside the update, 
Actually, let's make a new thing called a void fixed update because that happens more smoothly. So when you're using a camera, you probably want to use a fixed update because the normal update will kind of stutter a little bit. So we're going to tell this transform of our camera to look at our target position, which is the sun, it's transform.position. And now the camera should, in theory, follow kind of where the sun goes. So that's cool. OK, so now we're going to create a really quick terrain environment. So I'm going to go game object, 3D object, terrain. And I'm going to move my position to minus 250x and minus 250z. Uh, we got our terrain here. And then I'm going to go to the paintbrush, go edit texture, add texture. And in the first box, this is where you could select like grass or sand or whatever texture you have. I don't really have any, so I'm just going to choose a checker box thing. And can't hardly see it, but this is where you would put a texture. Then I'm going to go to the raise, raise is lower terrain. There's the mountains here. And I'm going to choose a brush and just, I'm just going to draw a bunch of crap all over my environment. And if you hold shift, it will lower it back down too. But whatever, this is just my crappy alien landscape or whatever this is. <laughs> and then let's just press play because it should look kind of cool. It should show all the lighting and the sun. kind of sets. Then you have the, the moon making it blue. So I'm going to change how the camera moves. Alright, so back in the, the main camera, instead of looking directly at the sun, I, I want it to look at the sun in every direction except in its y-axis. I don't want it to look up and down. I just want it to like kind of pan left and right. So I'm going to tell it to look at, I'm going to, yeah, so we're still going to use look at, but instead of just putting that position, we're going to go new vector 3, and we will use the same thing for the x, but I'm going to put 0 for y. And then the same thing for the Z. So transform, look at a new vector, which a new XYZ position, the target's X position, then zero for the Y, so not how high it is, because I don't want it to look up and down. And then the target's target.position.z. Save that. And those two forward slashes are for commenting things out. So now we'll play it. It should follow the sun, kind of, but stay looking at the ground so we can see the lighting and the shadows and stuff. So that's a pretty cool day-night cycle. Another thing you can do is go create material. We'll call this the sky. 
and then where it says shader standard we change it to a skybox procedural and that's what the default background is right now and if you go window lighting there's this default skybox click the little circle thing beside it or you can drag this material onto it so oh where's my window window lighting I'm gonna put it right into my scene right here so you can drag your sky right onto this skybox and you can drag your sun onto the or your your sun onto where they say sun and you can change the size of the sun and you can well let's just play it so it's a giant sun but you can you can adjust it right here and you can change the exposure if you want and the atmosphere thickness so if it's more thick you'll get a lot of that sunset kind of effect and you can change the colors too and unpause it so there you go there's kind of a cool day night cycle and you can change how fast the day night cycle is by changing that number where it rotates So there's a nice intense sunset, sunrise, sunset. You can go, yeah, I think these stay saved even if I edit them while it's paused. Yeah, so you can also change in the sun, you could also change this number if you wanted to change it so that it moves like really fast or something. you'd probably want to make it move really slow but that's kinda of cool you probably want it to be like very slow though <laughs>